Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. Hi, social media platforms. Every platform that I plan on uploading is to after the video is done uh, recording. This is Tiffany Martinez. I am making this live video for you guys. Once again, whenever I make my videos, I make it for you. I do not make them for me. I'm very aware of the information that I'm about to deliver to you. As always, um, what you do with the message, that's your business. It's not my business what you do with the message that you're about to receive. So, I usually don't wait for people to get on my live stream because they're, I guess they're playing games or whatever they're doing on Facebook or whatever they're doing. Well, since this is originally being recorded on Facebook, they're either playing games or sharing those memes or whatever you do with your free time, that's your business. So I don't wait for people. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, for those of you who um, are out there, I guess I should just say, because I've already put it in the title, um, for um, this is not going to be for the sensitive. This is not this video. If you're sensitive and you don't want your, your feelings hurt today, today is not the day for you to be on this video because your feelings are going to be hurt. So. That being said, again, this is Tiffany Martinez, and I'm making this live video for your benefit, not for my benefit, because I'm very aware of what's going on. Anyways, moving on, um, for those of you who are out there um, immediately saying, it's a scam, it's a scam, I knew it is a scam, blah, 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 that's your first instinct toward any business opportunity that is presented to you. I am coming to you today. I'm pretty sure I've told you this before, but apparently it's not sinking in your brain. So I'm telling you again, your job is a scam. The place that you go punch that time clock every single day, that's your scam. You know why it's a scam? Because the only person that's making any legitimate money is the person who owns it, the person who signs those checks. That's the person. If you don't believe me, go look in your bank account. And if, and if, and if you're living from paycheck to paycheck and you're already in your 30s, in your 40s, and your 50s, or if you, God forbid, if you're still working and you're in your 60s and your 70s, then hello, your job is a scam. So don't come to me telling me that what I'm presenting every single day, which is Carrot Bars International, is a scam, which I know I've already been paid and still being paid. So go out there and educate yourself and stop saying no to what you don't know. Because whoever you're working for, if all they're if all they're interested in to you know doing is giving you peanuts every week, just enough for you to barely survive, then your job, your J O B, just over broke is a scam. No, I'm not saying go out there and quit your job because you're going to need it to finance your future. That being said. Those who of you who are out there saying that you can't afford care bars, how can you not afford a free opportunity? It's free to join. We don't sell corny ass products. And I'm not talking about it that does sell corny products or push corny products. But we're not that company. And I am this because I'm pissed and I'm pissed on you. But I'm not pissed because you didn't sign up for an entire year. I'm pissed because whenever you do expire someday, you won't have a will or nothing for your children. And then what's going to happen? They're going to have to do what you should have done X amount of years ago 
which is start, I don't, I'm not saying start a GoFundMe account, but they're going to have to start a fund to bury you or whatever you your final wishes were. Well, if you wanted to be um, cremated or if you wanted to be, um, you know, put in a box, whatever you wanted to be, your final wishes were. Do not put that on your children. If you claim that you love your children today and, you know, oh, you know, those are my babies. I do anything for them, blah, 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 blah. Then do something for them today. Today. I've been sharing this with the, been sharing this opportunity with you guys. And I'm talking about the people that I know personally. The ones that I grew up with personally. Since August 2018. And if you're working at your job and you don't have nothing in the bank for your babies and you're the same age as me or at least in your 40s and I'm, and sadly, you know, one of your parents or both of your parents have already expired, what did they leave you? Not Not that as an adult they're supposed to leave you anything, but what, but what did they leave you, especially, you know, to bury them with? That burden fell on you and whoever else that helped them, whatever their final wishes were. Don't put your babies in that situation. It's not fair. When my father expired, that, was, that wasn't an issue because, one, he was a responsible man since he left whenever he was a young man before he had kids, since since he was in the army. So and I'm not trying to put I'm not trying to put my father on a pedestal, but he did set that example for us. We and to be honest, my father, we we wasn't really even that close. But he at least did that. So like I don't want I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it and I'm not going to support your GoFundMe. I'm not going to support your GoFundMe fucking accounts. I'm just going to say it right now. I'm not been saying it. I'm not going to support them. I'm not going to support them. I'm not going to do it because you have an opportunity today to do something for your children and do something for yourself today. And don't tell me you can't afford it because, one, like I said, if you take the time to go to the website, you will see and register. It's free. It's free to join. It's been free for eight years. Doesn't cost a membership fee. Doesn't cost a damn dime for you to get in. Doesn't cost anything for you to get in to protect your family. I mean, wouldn't you like to know that, you know, whenever you do expire someday, that, you know, your entire family is taken care of and, you know, that you did that? Especially if you are um, not only a parent, but you're already, a, you're starting to be a grandparent. I mean, wouldn't you like to give them that gift that, that they don't have to go through the things that you went through? Anyways, the company that I work for, Care Bars, they have a new feature that, that was um, released on July 4th, Gold Independence Day. I'm pretty sure wherever you work, they don't have nothing of the such. They don't have nothing of the such. All they have is you guys work, you know, the 40 plus years for um, 40 hours a week. You know, then you get your Social Security, which is 40% of what you were already making, which was never enough in the first place. Well, anyways, where I'm grinding, which you guys like to use that word, grinding, they have this. They have a last will and testimony. They have a place that you can store your wealth. So whenever you do expire someday, my husband and I, we don't have children. We only have cats. And I... Some days, I swear, I feel like I treat, treat my cats better than most people treat their children. And I, if that we did have kids, they would have a gold savings account too. 
and this will be left to them. Because this is very new, I have to read more into it, I have to set mine up. But whenever we do adopt kids or whatever happens in the future, they're going to have a legacy for them. What will your children have if you expire tomorrow? And like I said, don't give me that bullshit that you can't afford it. Because look, I set up these props. I set up these props on the side. If you, if you can save up for your cruise all year long, if you can save up, make payments on your cruise that's, that you can't save, you, you can go on your cruise, you can have a wonderful time, you can come back with pictures and some souvenirs, because my husband, we've been, I've been to the Bahamas, I've been to Cabo, I've been to Ensenada, I've been to Puerto Vallarta, I've been to all those places. And there's not that many places, but I'm saying I've been to those different countries. And I plan on going to other countries, but we stopped going. We stopped going. March is, March is the Martinez's month, because both of our birthdays are in March, and our anniversary is in March. But why keep pumping that cruise ship or that cruise liner, whatever you call it, full of more money when you don't have really a wealth of your own? The only person that's winning is that company. And, I, and I'm not picking on the company. I guess I should, have, I should have covered up the name, but everyone knows their logo anyways, especially if you're a cruiser. But if you can save up for an annual cruise, and that's all you get all year. Hello, that's not enough. That's not enough. And even if you do put it in your quote-unquote budget, it's not enough. It's not enough for you. It's not enough for your, um, your children. It's not enough for your grandkids. It's just a jar full of memories. So, like I said, if you have money for this, and you're capable of saving and making down payments on this, then you have plenty to store in an appreciating asset. When you put that money in that little escrow account for the cruise, that doesn't gain interest, and most of the time it's, it's non-refundable. But this is your money. You can put as much as you want in it every week or however you want to set it up, and it's still yours. It's still yours. It's still yours. And you can take it out whenever you want, but you don't want to take it out. You want it to appreciate. So in the event that you do expire, you have something for your family. Excuse me. Moving along. Like I said, if you have money for things like this, you know, whenever you go on your cruise and things like that, these little souvenirs, I got this one myself. Um, whenever we were going to the Bahamas, I got this one because, you know, I always like seeing my name on things. I just always have. But I wasn't in care bars then. But now I am. And I see the value of what I, I could have at least got two tenths of a gram of gold with that, with the price that I paid for this. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it doesn't gener it doesn't generate me money while I sleep. It doesn't do anything but just sit there. That's all it does. It just sits there. I mean, I put them, you know, inside of a curo, but it just sits there. That's all it does. Moving on to the people that say that they can't afford um, um, to save in gold in an appreciating asset that actually paid you to keep your own money. This, I brought out this cup, and this is my favorite coffee mug, but I don't really drink coffee, but this, 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 this is one of my favorite mugs. You guys that go to the gourmet coffee shops, I'm not going to name any of the names because I'm not knocking those companies, but you claim that you can't afford to save in an appreciating asset for your children. Well, this is 24 karat gold, a tenth of a gram of gold. 
the same cost or oh, the same price as the cup of coffee that um, that you get from the gourmet places, those coffee shops, or the same price you would pay for um, a pizza that is five dollars. Well, that company that used to have the five dollar pizzas, I don't think they have them anymore. I think they raised the price to um, five ninety nine or six ninety nine, whatever they raised the price to. But you can afford it since you're claiming that you can, because they're about the same price. And you slurp this down in about two minutes and it's gone forever. It's gone forever. And you don't see it anymore until you, you well, you know, you go to the bathroom. But this, you take those same $5 and you stack it. And you stack it and you stack it and you stack it and you stack it and you stack it. And, stack it, and it's yours forever. And even whenever you expire someday, you still have it. Well, you're, you don't have it, but your family has it, and their family's going to have it. It's going to be generational wealth. And for the people out there that's saying, where can I spend it? Oh, my God, where can I spend it? I want to spend That's part of your problem is the spending, the spending, the spending. That's why you're living paycheck to paycheck, because you keep spending as soon as you get it. It doesn't matter how much you get. As soon as you get your check, you're supposed to be paying yourself first before you do anything else, before you pay your bills, before you get your groceries. You're supposed to, whatever you make, whatever you pay, I mean, whatever you, you know, bring home, you're supposed to be taking out 10% and not getting this stuff, not putting your down payment on a cruise or making a payment on the cruise. You're not supposed to be doing that. You're not supposed to be putting in, um, you know, a $50 budget for, you know, a gourmet coffee or, I mean, no offense to your friends or, or anybody that, you know, that has a small business because I have a small business too. But you're not supposed to be going out, you know, and buying these, you know, or um, any type of product, you know, that, could be getting this instead, which is building wealth for your family. It's a choice. Or, you know, you shouldn't be out there looking on Facebook and looking at the, um, I think it's called the marketplace. It's basically, you know, an online yard sale, you know, for local um, sellers where you can go buy something really cheap because they need cash. They need liquid right now. Don't get it. Learn how to discipline yourself. Learn how to discipline yourself, especially if you have children, especially if you have children, especially if you have children. And hey, like I said, we don't have kids, but even though we don't have, I guess you can say human children, we still have cats. And our cats, because people keep telling me that, you know, Whatever, it doesn't matter what they say. I don't I really don't give a damn about the day committee. But even though they're cats, you know, little fur kids, doesn't matter. They cost money too. And I'm not talking about a can of food a week or a big bag of crunchies. They cost a lot of money, especially when they get sick. Because they don't I can't, you know, I, I can't add them to my husband's insurance plan. They can't get insurance unless we purchase the insurance. So, you know, so, so, um, so to downgrade, you know, cats or to downgrade pets as not as children, stop talking, stop talking and just, just, just shut up, just shut up because they cost a lot of money too. Yes. They're not going to go to school. Yes. They're not going to do this. They're not going to do that. But whenever that, you know, I take them to the vet, it costs money. It costs a lot of money, a lot of money that we have to pay out of our pocket, not an insurance plan. So, and even if we do use an insurance plan, that still costs money too. So you have to pick and choose what do you want in life because you can have both. You can have that cruise. You can have everything that you think is important to you. You can have all those things. If you pay yourself first 
and an appreciating asset. Network people get involved in a um, legitimate money system. Legitimate money system. You can have everything that you've always wanted. Already mentioned this in my previous videos. You don't have to be um, from Hollywood, you know, just to be considered. Um, a wealthy person or you know you can be that person that starts that legacy every generation does not have to start over every generation does not have to start over but every time that you put the you know the thought in your kid's head well when you get 16 you're getting a job you know when you get 16 you're going to get a job excuse me you're um, you're sending your kid out to the slave field. That's what you're doing. Because what is going to happen? They're going to gonna get a taste of instant gratification. They're going to get a taste if they go to work every week, that they're going to get a paycheck at the end of the week or every two weeks, however the pay cycle runs. That's what you're putting in your kid's head. And, and you know what else? That boss, whoever hired them, doesn't matter what they start their, um, on their salary off. They're paying your children, and I'm sure someone did the same thing to you. They paid you to forget your dreams, whatever your dream was to be in life. Doesn't matter what I know, a lot of people that I went to high school with, their, their voice is beautiful. They should be literally a, a professional singer, but I, didn't, I don't see them on any labels. I mean, maybe that was a personal choice. They didn't want to do those things, but... Your voice is beautiful, but who paid you to forget your dreams? You got to think about that. They pay you, they, if they throw you peanuts, you know, you work all year and as if you get a raise, as if you get a raise, you work all year and they give you 50 cents and you think, oh, wow, I got 50 cents. By the time they tax the shit out of it, you're back where you started. You just think you have a little bit increase because your pay, your paycheck kind of reflects it. But then when you go to the grocery store, whatever you thought you got that's a little bit better, you know, it's taken right back whenever you go pay for your groceries. Stop living J-O-B, which is just over broke. And definitely stop saying no to what you don't know. Because when the time comes and, you know, the U.S. dollar is down to nothing, which is almost there, it's already loses buy, it's losing its buying power, then what are you going to do? Back to this. If you don't have nothing in your, I ain't talking about your paper savings, but if you don't have nothing for your kids set up, and in, in the event that you expire, you better go register for your free gold savings account and take out whatever is holding you back because it is 100% free. We don't sell products. We're not whatever. We're not a tea company. We're not a weight loss company. Um, we're not a candle company. We're not a um, home decor company. We don't sell anything. You literally get paid to keep your money. Sorry. You're literally paid to keep your money in an appreciating asset. Well, what if I want my money back? If you want your declining piece of shit money back, then you can request it. And they will give it back. It ain't, and it won't be no no hoops and whatever they call it, you know, you know, the jump through, they're going to give it back to you. It ain't like at the bank where they ask you a gazillion questions or whenever you go to your employer and you request and you re chowder and sorry. And, and, you know, you request your, your money, which is that 401k. When you go to request that, you gotta you gotta answer all these questions about why 
about why you want your money. Like, it's your money. Why should you have to, um, why should you have to, why should you have to answer all these questions about your money? It's your money. And if you go to the bank, you know, there's so many restrictions. Like, you can only take out, you know, let's say, you know, $5,000 a day. But what if you had an emergency and you had to, you know, take care of some serious business, but they only want to give you 5K of your own money? If you don't hold it, you don't own it. If you hold these, you own it. You own it. And, you know, another people, another someone keeps asking me, um, where do I spend these? You, you know, or where can I spend them? I think I already answered that, but, uh, or, yeah, I think, I think I already answered it, but, you know, it's going to be easier to spend these, like at the grocery store, just like you would spend a $5 bill, you could be able to pay for it. This is a like about five bucks, you can get like bread and milk or whatever you needed for this amount of money. Um, but you don't keep saying no to what you don't know. You know, you can't, you know, you can't keep saying that. You can't keep saying no to what you don't know because then you're the one that's going to lose in the end. You know, but I'm just going to touch on this last thing, you know, for the people. I'm, I don't know if you're actually going to see this video. And if you don't, then that's going to be your loss. That's going to be your loss. So, you know, that's going to be your loss. I just, I'll just put it there. You know, that's going to be your loss. But for those of you who are out there that love seeing television, um, you know, what you're seeing on TV isn't that far from the truth, you know, and those of you who like seeing um, on The Handmaid's Tale, are you prepared for that new world? Are you prepared for that new world? That's what I want to know. I mean, I'm, hey, I guess it don't really matter since since I'm really only concerned about what happens here in this household. But today, until there is no more time, I'm trying to share this information with you. So you can get in position. But while you're seeing your TV shows, you whether if it's, like I said, The Handmaid's Tale, you know, which is the new world order, you guys don't wake up, oh my God. Would you like to leave your kids in, in, a, in a world like that or would you like to leave them where they can do whatever the hell they want to do? It's always been money talks and shit walks. It's always been like that. It's always been like that. If you don't have any, and two hundred dollars in the bank, and a thousand dollars in the bank, a couple thousand dollars in the bank—that's not money. It's not money, anyways. Gold is money. So, I think that's it. And um, if you've already registered for Care Bars, and you haven't at least uploaded your KYC documents. What are you waiting for? I mean, what's more important? You know, buying snacks, you know, buying these type things, you know, saving up, you know, for a cruise. And I'm not picking on anybody that takes cruises because, you know, my husband and I, you know, we have been on, you know, a few cruises and, you know, but what's more important? So, like I said, if you really want to 
build wealth for your family. Stop doing what you always do. Whether if it's this, whether if this is your treat every week, because you know you deserve more than a cup of coffee. It doesn't matter wherever you get it from. You um you deserve more than this. You deserve more than you know a novelty item. You deserve more than an annual cruise. You deserve more than um you know a nice smelling home. You deserve much more than that. You deserve more than makeup. You, you deserve more than sneakers. And the people that are buying sneakers and tire rims and whatever else, and, you know, designer purses, you don't stop being a parent just because your kid is 18. Just because your kid is 20, just because your kid is 25, you're going to be their parent for until infinity. No one's saying that you are obviously, you know, doing everything for them, but you want to leave them a legacy so they can repeat that cycle, not the cycle that was taught to them, what was taught to you and was taught to your parents. You want to give them more than what they see. I think that's it, but so stop saying that you can't afford to pay yourself first, because if you can afford to do whatever else that you want to do in life, well, even if it's just buying a bag of Cheetos and buying a soda, you made a choice when you could have gotten an appreciating asset, 24 karat gold. On Gold Independence Day, which was July 4th, those who decided to go to Las Vegas, it was like 7,000 7, people, 7,000 affiliates there were in care bars. Um, they, they were there to witness where you exchange 100 KBCs to one gram of physical gold. So that's 10 of these. When it used to be cryptocurrency but now it's physical gold no other company out there sorry no other company out there no other company out there other than carrot bars does that now I know this platform that I'm currently recording on they're coming out with the coin, cryptocurrency. And as of right now, it's not backed by anything. But they've been encouraged by Forbes to back it by gold. So you kind of wonder, where did they hear that at? You know, where did they hear that at? Like, Carry Bars has been around for eight years, and they've always been back by gold. So. You have a choice. Either leave your kids hanging, literally hanging, or stop buying shit that you don't need. And leave them in a, an example other than to get up and go to work every day and work until you die. Like you're just, you're exchanging not only your time for dollars, but you're exchanging, you know, your youth. Please wake up. All right. Well, I got some things I got to do today. I think I'm going to use this day as a personal day and uh, shampoo my hair and stuff. So I think I want to just make this a beauty day. See, a lot of people out there, they don't have that option to do as they please. Um, and granted, you know, it's just my husband that has, um, you know, a regular job. But a lot of people who are in my position, my personal position, you know, they have, you know, health issues or whatever the case is. Oops, sorry. 
um, you know, they have health issues, but they have to force themselves to go to work, even if their body doesn't want to do those things. You know, for the last 18 years, starting 19 years this month, um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to stay home and, you know, let my body continue to heal if that's what it's actually doing. So, and I see you guys' posts. You're out there literally working yourself to death. You're working yourself to death, all while, all while saying, this is a scam. But yet, I still get paid. And the people that are coming in with me, that are joining me, they're getting paid. They're building wealth for their families so they can retire in less than five years. Because I know one guy, he's already made it clear, he's retiring in five years. And he just started this year. So he only has probably about four years to go. So, so while you're telling me that it's a scam, you're going to your job every single day with no plan whatsoever other than to work until you die. You deserve better. Your children deserves better. Stop buying shit you don't need and start paying yourself first. Stop buying shit you don't need. Like I said, these are about $5, not the mug the item that they put inside the mug. The candle, wherever you buy your candles from, wherever you buy your teas from, wherever you buy that latest fad from, whatever's trending. I don't know what's trending. I don't care. If you have money for that, then you have money to invest into your future. invest into your future. Set a better example for your kids. Because working until you expire, that's not a good example. No one's telling you to quit your job because you're going to need those Federal Reserve notes to fund your future. As you're saving and you're working your way towards freedom, you're setting an example for your kids. I'm done. This has been Tiffany Martinez. You guys have a wonderful and golden day wherever you are. I just know that I don't have a job to get up and go to tomorrow morning. So I'm going to do whatever I want to do today. And it is going to be a personal day. I just, I could just see it now. Um, I just barely had my, um, my breakfast and I'm just going to enjoy myself today. I'm not going to, well, I may go out a little later, pass out some cards. I'm not sure. This all depends, but I'm definitely going to do my hair. Want more than what you see. Take care.